I'm in my house. The power is out. The wind is blowing. The lightning is flashing. It is raining. And, but I believe that for the most part, the worst part's past us. Um, and the, uh, the storm is certainly tracking to the north. When the, when the storm was coming, you, uh, I saw you were on Twitter quite actively beforehand. You were telling people to get into the basement. Did you do that as well? Yeah, we did. Um, I uh, actually have never done that really before. I've basically told my family to go into the basement, but in this case I did um, because I was a little worried about uh, um, the fact that the storm was coming that quickly. The storm chasers around here as well, I was paying attention to them on social media and looking at the radar on my phone, and I was seeing just how the storm was tracking towards us, so it was my immediate reaction just to say, okay, I'd say everybody into the basement now. And uh, we have three dogs, so the first thing I did was I made sure they were all in one spot and couldn't get out, and then we went and joined them in our, in our one shelter space that's got no windows. So you say this is the first time that you've ever considered doing something like that for the safety of you and your family as well. Would you say, are these sort of storms unprecedented for you? Have you ever seen anything like this? We've had, we've had storms with tornadoes uh, near us in the past. We've had some fairly significant tornadoes uh, near the Pipestone area and uh, not too far from here. But I have to say this is the first time when it was clearly tracking directly towards our community. We do pay attention all the time. We're always worried about our neighbors whenever these storms are coming. But uh, this is the first time where it looked like there could be a, a very substantial direct hit to our community. And so that's why I was so active on the social media, making sure people heard it. Um, another good thing that's been going on this, this evening was uh, those national alerts, those broadcast alerts. They were very active on, on all, all of our radio broadcasts and on our television sets. People who had satellite television were noticing as well that they were getting those broadcasts cutting in. So they, they knew very clear, clearly that the storm was in the area. Uh, what is next for you in your role as mayor? Do you think you might be going when the storm sort of abates a little bit more? Do you think you're going to head out tonight? Uh, I might go out tonight. It's, honestly, it's dark. Um, I know that uh, we're worried about a number of things in our community. For one thing, the power's been out for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So our sewer station, our lift stations for our sewer systems have uh, probably all shut down. We've got the vac trucks on standby. But the fact is we're not going to send anybody out into a storm where there's a tornado warning. So it's a, it's a concern that way. I'll be getting updates from our staff about that as the evening progresses. But... Uh, I'm not thinking anybody's going up for a little while longer because this lightning show is still on and very active.